everybody welcome to algo prep master and in this video we're going to talk about custom hooks for react native custom hooks are a powerful tool in your react native arsenal they allow you to encapsulate and reuse logic across your app uh, so if you're a beginner or experienced developer uh, this video is for you basically this is the best way to reduce redundancy from your app so in this example, I've created a very, very simple slider app that uh, allegedly shows you pizzas around you. The problem is every time we refresh the app, the slider value resets. So what we wanna do is use async storage to save the slider value in local storage. The problem is, is if we do that every time that we want to use storage, uh, we're going to have redundant code and we're going to basically have to import async storage and uh, write the entire save and load method all over again, where you can just write it once in your hooks and then use it as a custom hook. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So grab your laptops and let's start coding. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new folder, call it hooks, and inside of hooks, we're gonna create a file called use storage, and uh, we're gonna want to install async storage. After we install async storage, we'll wanna import async storage, uh, right, with use state and use effect. Um, we will want to uh, basically, create a state variable uh, with a value uh, and a set value. And then we want to use the use effect hook uh, to run the code when the component mounts. And then from there, it's a pretty straight up approach. Uh, we're going to have a load value. We're going to have a save value. Very, very similar to how you would call uh, async storage uh, in your regular React Native or React components um, if you're using local storage. Okay, so now all that's left to do is just import use storage and then uh, replace our slider value. Instead of using new state, we're gonna use use storage. Um, we're gonna uh, set up our initial distance and the distance value. Um, we'll also want to uh, add a value to the slider itself, the slider value. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, now that we're gonna choose a distance and refresh the app, the distance should uh, persist in async storage, meaning it will stay the same every time you reload the app. So that's how you create custom hooks in React Native. Thank you guys for watching.